Power on BBC Radio Lancashire, 25 to 11. It's me, Carl, sitting in for Steve Royal. Now, a career as an online vlogger or in the gaming is an aspiration for many young children, according to this new survey that's been done. The role actually beats traditional jobs such as doctor, police officer or even a movie star in a poll of 7 to 11-year-olds. Uh, now, when I read this, I was like, but what is a vlogger? What's it all about? And is it a career that we should be encouraging our children to aspire to do? I'm actually joined uh, by uh, Bushy B now, who is a vlogger from uh, Darwin. Uh, good morning. Hi, good morning, Carl. So, come on then, uh, Bushy B. <laughs> what is... What is can I, do I call you Bushy B, or do you want me to call you by your name first? Uh, you can call me either. My name's Dave, or you can call me Bushy B. I'll call oh. you Dave. I feel more comfortable calling you Dave, uh, to be honest, because I don't really know what this vlogging is all about. So what, what is it? Let's start off with the basics. What is vlogging? Well, well vlogging, basically, is a, a version of... Um, it first started off with blogging, so people writing on websites about their experiences and where they've been... And when technology sort of caught up a little bit with the cameras and everything, it sort of moved towards uh, video diaries or video blogging. So you go out and you're sharing the experience with your viewers and they're able to see what you're going out to review or and you're chatting about. So it becomes a visual experience. So anybody can do this on the mobile phones these days because I've got a camera myself. Can I, can I vlog? Yeah, of course you can. It's, um, I mean, a lot of the social media software and the apps, things like, um, Facebook or YouTube, for example, they've now come up with the, uh, the the live app, so you can actually do live streaming when you're out, and it goes onto your channel, so your followers get updated and they can see what you're on about at the, at the very time live. I've done that myself, so so I'm a vlogger myself. I've just realised I must be a vlogger because I've done that on Facebook before. Yeah, yeah, it's it's as easy as that. You know, you could be out somewhere at an event, you know, um, or a birthday party, for example, and you could be sharing it with your friends and family, and that. That's the basic of it. That's what blogging is. But what makes the difference from me doing it like that to actually being a professional vlogger like yourself? Um, it's, I think it's the hours and the commitment that makes a difference. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of time and effort goes into to, to try and do it and seek it as a career or try and make something of it. So how long do you spend vlogging then? Um, for the main part of the year, I can, I can do anywhere up to 40 hour plus weeks. So it's a proper well career. Top of me of a job. Yeah, yeah. It sort of runs alongside me of a job, basically. So, so right. So you've got people who follow you now and are waiting for you to put up another video. Yes. So, um, so whether they, it's via social media that they keep in touch with me through. So, um, I basically put links on there to refer them back to my YouTube channel, and obviously I've got YouTube followers, so they're aware of when I put a new video up, they get a notification, so it's there ready for them to view. So what kind of things do you actually vlog about then? Because I, I assume you can vlog about anything, but you must have particular followers who expect a certain thing from you. Yes, um, and you know, there's a lot of people doing very same, similar topics. So to try and find something that's a little bit unique that makes people want to watch you and experience your channel. Um, so I mainly film live music. I go out to uh, local pubs, clubs, music venues, festivals, and I catch a... The, the best of live music, so um, a lot of people like to see that. Um, I'm not trying to take away from the live music industry, from the pubs, and stop people going out. But it's also the, the bands who are out there. They like to, you know, they get the chance to look back at the the songs and how they performed, and also the fans who were there and the people there get to relive the night, so to speak. So, like on New Year's Eve, I can stay in and watch you filming them. Uh, well, you'd, you'd see it the next the next day or two when it yeah. gets uploaded. Yeah, basically, yeah. So you'd, you'd be able to experience. So if I said I was going to see and went up to Scotland and did the New Year's up there and the fireworks in Edinburgh, I could go and record that and vlog that, and it would be up there for my, in the next few days for the people on the channel to enjoy and watch. Now, I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here, and I can do because you're not a lady, so I can ask you this. How old are you? I'm 45. 45. Now, I expected vloggers uh, to be a lot younger than that. Um, yes, uh, it's, I suppose it's the way it is these days. The technology has helped, really. It's moved to, everybody's got a smartphone these days and things. But when I first started, it was basically um, just on the internet and I started doing live gaming and Twitch streaming and things like that. And that's, that's what sort of started off my sort of career into it. And then I progressed more into actually doing more 
professional work on YouTube, so to speak. Would you say that it's an easy career to to get involved in? Because there are these little, these youngsters now who are deciding, I don't want to be a movie star, I don't want to be a policeman, I want to be a vlogger. Is it easy to do, like, for as, as a career? Um, I wouldn't... It, it, anybody can do it, like, like you've mm. discovered, you've, you've done it. So anybody... It's, anybody yeah, and if I can do it, can, anybody can do it. Yeah, but <laughs> anybody can do it. But to actually solely rely on it and think you're going to get a career from it is... Um, I think the phrase putting all your eggs in one basket would be too much to do on this because there's the, within the industry there's a lot of people. You can actually buy popularity. So, for example, you can actually buy YouTube followers and you can buy views for your videos. And this is uh, quite well spread across the industry. So not only am to try and compete with maybe another thousand people doing the same subject as you, but there's people out there who, who've paid to get ahead of you. How you how know? can you buy them though? Because if I'm on YouTube, I'm not gonna and you pay me money to follow you. No, no, there's actual there's actual sites out there. So some of them have actually come up with um, just follows, so they don't actually watch your videos. It just shows up as you've got like a thousand plus subscribers. So when you're looking at YouTube and you're looking at say you wanted to see a video of a certain type of car, and there's one video there and it's only got two or three views on it and the next one next to it has got over 10,000 views, you'd be automatically drawn to click on the one with 10,000 views because you think, well, that must be right. Right. It's a yeah. whole different world, isn't it? It is, yeah. So it's, uh, it's interesting to do as a hobby, especially, you know, um, like you said, the, the, the age group of the people you've surveyed of 6 to 11. You know, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's other things they, they, they should be pursuing more as a hobby, really, rather than trying to deal with the social media uh, present. So your advice would be to them to concentrate on other things, and if you fall into vlogging as a career, then so be it. Yeah, but... yeah. You know, start it off as, uh, if you're interested, start it off as a hobby, basically, and see where you go, because you could go years down the line before anything happens or you become popular. And whatever, and especially at that young age, whatever you put out there on the internet is generally out there. And if you forgot about it and you 10 years down the line, you're trying to get a job and you've mm -hmm. said something and people, you know, they search this when you look, anybody gets employed now and they, they automatically get searched on the internet for social media comments or anything like that. And it can come back to bite you later on in life. I'll tell you something, it is a worry. It's a worry for somebody like me who's not really into it. I think any parents out there who's not into this, luckily our, our little one's only three at the minute, so she's got yeah. a long way to go before you she's on social media. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. I've got it all to come. I'm going to have to learn more about how this social media works um, before then. Uh, do you know, it's a fascinating subject, um, Bushy B. And uh, what we will do, or Dave, um, what we will do, we'll have to get you in to find out more about this uh, because it sounds like it's, you know... It, there's, there's not enough time now to uh, really explore all this. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, there's a lot of things that go into to vlogging and, and what actually affects you from doing this as well, you know. So, I mean, I suppose I was quite... I, I, at my age, coming into it, um, especially I was about 40 when I started getting into it, um, I was actually better placed than most people because I tackled it sort of like a business, if you would. So yeah. I had clear ideas and outlines of what I wanted to achieve and I get um, I get lo a lot of local businesses actually sponsor me and um, they do a lot of crowdfunding for me so I give back to them and go out and advertise their businesses on the start of my videos and, and some businesses give me that promotion that partnership if you would so how so. did you actually find out about it all like how did you find out how to be a success um, well, it was, it was just watching other people's videos at the start. You know, a lot of people look on YouTube and there's a wealth of information out there. So, and then if it's a certain topic you're interested in and you watch a certain view and it, some, sometimes it just it that gives you the urge to have a crack at it yourself and, and see how you get on, you know. And, and once I did, I sort of got hooked by the bug and here I am, six years down the line. <laughs> Still doing it. Uh, just tell us where we can find you if we are internet savvy and um, we're looking for your vlogs. Right, yeah, so it's very easy. So all you need to do is actually just go onto YouTube or in, onto Google itself and just put into the search. If you put the hashtag Darwin Music, uh, all one word, 
just hashtag Darwin Music and that'll automatically find you and you'll, uh, you'll find all the videos that way. Dave, I, I look for. I'm going to try that myself. It might take me a while, but uh, I'll try and get on there and have a look at this. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming on uh, this morning and talking to us, and we'll get you in to find out more about this vlogging um, at a later date as well. No problem, Carl. It's been a pleasure. And uh, if you want me to come in, I'll also be vlog the experience whilst I'm there doing it. There you go. <laughs> We've got something sorted. We'll get that. Next time I'm here, we'll do that. Uh, thank you very much uh, to Dave or to uh, Bushy B, as he is known on uh, social media and on the vlogs uh, there. He is such a... Well, I'm, I'm fascinated by it all. I'm going to have to learn more because as our little ones grow older, um, that is the time we need to know uh, what's going on when it comes uh, to all this uh, kind of stuff. And he goes out and films. Uh, musicians in uh, Darwin as well so if you're into your music as well you might want to check him out The County's radio station for travel BBC Radio Lancashire This is Simon James